This is part 6 of the C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss all about nullable type in C Sharp. Here, we will cover all these three topics. The first is why nullable type is required, assigning a null value to a non nullable data types, and the third one is what is null coalescing operator. Okay, so in previous tutorial, under the value type data type, we have covered simple types and enum types. Now it's time to cover nullable types. So before starting with this tutorial, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel because in future I will be posting most exciting videos based on C Sharp as well as on other technologies. You can also follow me on Instagram. Here is my ID that is Apkanigam. And you can also like our official page that is Technotips Tutorial. For source code, you can visit technotipstutorial.blogspot.com. And for any discussion, you can just subscribe our channel on Telegram, which is Technotips Ashish. Now, let's get started with the nullable types. So what is a nullable type? So it is an extension of all other value types with a null value. It means an integer can store a number that is falling under its range as well as a null value. Let me explain it with an example. So first I'll take an example of a reference type. Okay. So a string is nothing but a reference type data type. Okay. And here I'll take an integer i equal to 10. Okay. No problem. Now change this value to a null value. Okay. So it will not give me any error. And if I change this value to a null value, it will give me a compile time error. Why? A reference type by default can store a null value but a value type data type cannot store a null value okay that is why microsoft a has introduced a concept of nullable type okay to make any any value type as a nullable type you just need to put a question mark after the data type okay now this integer will be able to store any number fall falling under its range as well as a null value okay you can also store an integer value 10 here okay now make it null okay so this is how you can make a value type data type as a nullable label type okay you can store a null value to a value type data type okay now let's come to our topics so why nullable type is required okay so I'll explain it with an example so first let me create a method say public and that will be re returning a string it is get unique code okay I'm passing an integer let's say employee ID and second is integer department ID okay now I don't want to force the user to pass department ID so I just want to make this department ID as an optional field okay so to receive an optional field you can just make this department ID in this way okay now you can pass any null value to department ID let's say how to call this method here you can call and then pass 10 comma null value okay so either you can pass a null value or you can pass any integer value to this method okay let me pass a null value first and here based on this condition see if department ID is not equal to null then 
you can return let's say user plus user underscore plus your employee ID plus underscore plus department ID okay if department ID has some value okay and else you will return something else let's say this one only return this plus underscore default control KD okay so this is the method and the code will be in a string so a string code equal to this and here you can take a view bag dot code equal to code and you can show it on your view so control KD and just make it down and just right click here and go to view here just paste it okay now let me run this so here you go so here you have just got user underscore 10 underscore default because you have passed a null value and here you have just made uh, a condition that if department ID equal to equal to null then you will return this and if not null then you will return this okay so if I put a continue here then it will show me that value on the UI oh sorry you just need to put at the rate before using this view back now reload it and remove this breakpoint here continue now user underscore 10 underscore default okay now I stop it let's come to the second point assigning a null value to a non nullable data types okay let me create here an integer int let's say department id equal to so th this is a non nullable data type and i am assigning i to this non nullable data type say i and i am passing this department id here and uh, i will make this you know this fill is you know uh, mandatory fill okay now here you can see a compile time error that is saying that cannot implicitly convert a type nullable int to int you cannot assign any null value to a non nullable data type it means so to convert it you can directly use it you know this i dot value but this is not recommended here because if I will have a null value then it will throw an exception okay see I will put a breakpoint here and let me run this see the value of I is null and if I go one step forward and see the label nullable object must have a value okay this this i you must assign any value to this integer okay so the second option is like you if you assign 10 value then it is fine it will be running fine but if you assign a null value then there will be an exception so instead of i dot value can you use this 
typecast int and then i and keeping this i equal to null as it is so so again this will throw an exception let me run this so it will throw a same exception you can see now function f10 see nullable object must have a value once you assign any value then it will not throw any exception see here you go okay now you stop this application and now make it null and let me handle this in other way like convert I'm just keeping it as it is first copy this and comment this now if I use convert dot to in 32 then in this case it will not throw me any exception instead of this it will assign a default value of this integer okay let me run this project so here if I press F 10 then here you can see the department ID is 0 okay so it internally it handles exception here my value of in this I is null and here it it doesn't throw me any exception so it convert dot to in 32 is really recommended instead of using those uh, directly typecasting like int I or maybe that you were using this one like I dot value okay so this is how you can assign in nullable data types to a non nullable data types okay and now instead of you know writing this long code or converting this integer you can simply use null coalescing operator which is our third topic this null coalescing operator so just comment this and just use copy and paste here and how to use null coalescible it's very easy just use i question question and then zero or maybe any default value like say 100 okay so it means if the value will be value of i will be null then this value will be used and if you assign any value to this then that value will be assigned to this department ID so first I'll take I as a null and then let's see department ID so here you go so value of I is null and if I is null then I should get 100 as a value so function F10 so department ID is 100 function F10 okay so code will be user underscore 10 underscore 100 now function F10 okay so this is how you can use a null coalescible operator and stop it and assign some value let's say 10 okay now this time what will be the value of department ID let me check here so this time the department ID will be 10 here you go so right now department ID is 0 function F10 so this time the department ID is 10 okay 
if it has a value then it will assign to this department ID if it doesn't have then by default it will assign 100 as a default value okay and what would be my code function f10 code will be user underscore 10 and underscore 10 let me show you yeah user underscore 10 is equal to 10 okay so this is all about the nullable types in c -sharp. we have discussed all these three topics hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please give a thumbs up please share this video among your friend and thank you very much have a great day